Hey everyone, this is Dave Erickson on assignment here at the 2013 Ironman 70.3 St. George, which is doubling as a U.S. Pro Championship this year. And even though this is the inaugural event as a 70.3, it's not the first time athletes have raced here in Southwest Utah. The course is a little bit different. Here's a closer look. For those of you who've done the full distance uh, Ironman course here in St. George, you're in for a real treat because this 70.3 course is very, very similar to the challenge and terrain that you're going to have there. And it's got some exciting elements that will make it even more unique. Beginning with the swim, we're out at Sand Hollow State Park in the reservoir there. The water there is crystal clear. You're going to love that. Temperature's pretty good in the early spring, low 60s. And we've got a beautiful venue for spectators. The dam flows right along the swim course. And so spectators can walk out and line that and watch you as you go out into the water. And then you go around the big red island in the middle of the reservoir and come back to the finish. Uh, as you leave T1 this time, the bike course will come around the opposite way around the reservoir. You used to turn left out of T1 and now you're going to turn right and go on the back side of the reservoir up near the red sand and over the hill. There's a good little hill there that's going to challenge you right at the first and then it drops you down into town into Hurricane and brings you back across where now you join up with the exact same bike course that we had coming through St. George over the Red Hills Parkway and, and up Snow Canyon Boulevard and this time instead of continuing on up around the great big loop around Gunlock and Veo, vale, you will turn and actually go right through the heart of Snow Canyon State Park. But this run course is not for the faint of heart. It takes you from inside of town and you, and you head up onto the red bluff that looks over the city. So you've got some grueling parts, some moments there, but it's doable. It's challenging, but it's doable. And the other part about it this year is they've redone the road up there. You've got some great spectator viewing points along the run course this year with, that we didn't have two years ago in the race. As you come down off of the Red Hill, you're, you're in for a spectacular finish line. If you're looking for one that stands out, this is one on the Ironman 70.3 circuit. It's beautiful, right down in the heart of town with the tabernacle in the background, town square with a splash pad for the kids, all the amenities of the, you know, the Ironman village and everything will be right down there. This is really a fun place to finish a race. St. George as a com sports community is one of the most supportive environments I've ever been in for uh, triathlon and really any sort of athletics. There's a, a great sense of community involvement and the volunteer support on course is spectacular. People really embrace the event and get into it and, and I haven't found a better community in terms of size and uh, community support to, to train in. So my husband and I come back here to train all the time just because it's such a great place to do triathlon. We're going to roll out the red sand carpet for you here. This community is fully behind this race. We, you, you have banners in the streets, you'll have spectators throughout the course. Really, really supportive community. You're going to love what you find here. You can follow all the action live on race day Saturday, May 4th on Ironman.com with live text updates and photos and live video updates with Greg Welch and Craig Alexander. Until next time, this is Dave Erickson on assignment at the 2013 Ironman 70.3 St. George.